My name is Farooq Hajaz and I am the author of Room Request Dispatcher which is also known as VRD. In part 1 of the tutorial, I demonstrated the use of VRD to handle request, forward and redirect to any valid URL using NetBeans IDE 6.5. In this part, I will show you how we can invoke Java methods using VRD. Create a web project. Set the project name as test app. Click next. From the servers list, select Apache Tomcat if it is not already selected. Click next. From the frameworks list, check Vroom Request Dispatcher. Leave the settings as they are and click finish. To demonstrate the use and power of VRD, I shall build a small application to record site visit statistics. Let's create a couple of JSPs. Right click on the project. Select New, Other, Web, JSP, click Next. Set the JSP file name as page 1, click Finish. Create another JSP. Set the JSP file name as page 2. Edit the contents of these GSPs accordingly. Save all the files. Now create a Java class. Right click on the project. Select new, other, Java, Java class. Click next. Set the class name as site stats and set package as com.my.web and click finish. Add a static integer variable named visits. Set the initial value to 0. Add a synchronized Like static void log method. Increase the value of visits variable by one and output the value on the console of this variable. Now go to VRD configuration file and add a request tag. Set the value of pattern attribute as dot star. This means include all resources and add invocation tag. Set the method name as com.my.web.sitestats dot log and close the tag. Save the files and run the application. So the browser displays the index page. I just go back to the NetBeans IDE and see the output. Uh, Apache Tomcat log, no, this one, yes. You see now, visits is equal to 1. So I go back to the browser and do a couple of refresh. Go back to NetBeans IDE and see the visits are now 4. Okay, let's go back to the site stats class and change the signature of log method to include HTTP servlet request parameter import this class and you can delete this variable because we don't need it anymore and say static now I need a hash map so static hash map the key can be of type string and the value will be integer 
the name of the map will be visits map let's initialize the map import the hash map class in the method uh, just define integer visits variable here let's say for example zero here the first thing I will do is I will uh, get the request URI from the servlet request so URI is equal to chariq dot get request URI. Now this visits variable, it I'll get the value from the visits map for this variable based on the URI. Actually, it means that if for this particular URI, which is uh, part of the request. If there is any visits uh, variable available just to get the value but obviously for the first time there will be no value so I put the check equal to null then initialize the value to 0 and here after increasing the value what I will do I'll just put the value in the visits map for the URI and in the log message I want to include URI is equal to URI Visits is equal to this. Save the file. Go to the browser window. Do a couple of refresh. And go back to the NetBeans. And see the output of the Apache Tomcat. And you see that uh, the application, the whole index page has been accessed three times. So let's go back to the browser window again and call page 1.jsp call this a couple of times call page 2.jsp and do 3 visits for instance and now you see the log here you see page 1 was visited 3 times page 2 was visited 2 times no 4 times Yes, 